assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial i am going to show you that how can you create a geological map in arc map so first of all uh, you need data for creating a geological map and thanks to usgs earth explorer who is providing free spatial data and shape files of geology just simply go to your google and write down usgs geology shape file and the first one world geologic map and find your area of interest in this case i am going to download the shape file of south asia okay after downloading the shape file you will get uh, this and extract it over here Now go to your art catalog and file destination. Okay, this is the data and shape file of uh, the geologic map of South Asia and we'll have a look on its attribute table. And over here, GLG. What is GLG? Let's go to again go to website and it's metadata okay after downloading this report you will get this document and over here this is the explanation of uh, that words actually the q is representing the quaternary sediments and similarly uh, the d are undivision divinian rocks they are representing uh, the rocks of different geological time periods so okay now we will clip out our area of interest from uh, all of this data Okay, we are going to create a geological map of Balochistan, uh, the largest province of Pakistan. And uh, okay, we will use clip tool uh, to extract the, our area of interest. Just go to geoprocessing and clip. input feature is your geological shape file and want to clip this area you can assign a destination from over here okay after cl clipping the area of interest uh, from that geological shape file uh, we will do the further analysis and after these analysis we will create a layer, layout of this map now let's have a look on its attribute table and over here these are the, the details of every polygons and uh, if i click over here that will show uh, the details of the geolo geological time period of QS and QS is actually representing a, a geological time period. So let's dis uh, use a dissolve tool that will merge all the N, N fields into one polygon. Just go to uh, geoprocessing tools and then dissolve. Input feature is your the shape file of geological shape file of your Plochistan and you can assign a destination to your output SHP is the extension and we want to dissolve GLG okay Okay, now have a look on its attribute table. 
all of these uh, polygon that are related to Jurassic and Jurassic region are now dissolved into one polygon okay after using the dissolve tool uh, just go to its properties and we will categorize our data and go to symbology go to categorize select glg from over here and add the values of glg and over here you can see the first is not representing any region of geological time period so just apply this this region okay this region have no data of geological time period so we will again check it out from over here okay now if we will see uh, its data of glg is also uh, not mentioned in the original shape file that we have downloaded from usgs or earth explorer so go to its properties and we can write other region okay now it's quite good okay after categorizing our data we will uh, we can create a layout of our analysis for creating a layout just click layout view and from over here you can change the layout of your pages like if you want to uh, create your uh, layout in portrait or landscape or a3 a4 uh, type so you can select from over here you can adjust the border of your layout by dragging its boundaries just like this Okay, now we will add add the element of a map in our layout like we will add uh, firstly we will add a title of our map okay um, after doing double click you can also customize your uh, title you can make it bold and you can also choose textile from over here Okay, after inserting the title, uh, we will add a northing arrow. Okay, now we will add a scale bar in our map. Here, a variety of scale bar is available you can select your own i will go with this one okay by doing double click on this you can also customize your scale bar just like i don't want kilometer and i just want km make the km bold and okay just like this and you can also increase the font size of your scale you can make them bold okay now we will add uh, the 
legends in our layout so but over here you can see that these legends are not providing any information uh, to viewer and if a viewer have the pdf of its metadata then only he can understand uh, about that what is jtr region representing so we will uh, edit this name just make a single click and then again a click on it and go to its metadata and find out that jtr is representing the uh, jurassic and Triassic rocks so we will copy and paste it over here just like this and we will find the name of all uh, glg all geological uh, symbols and we will place their name over here okay after entering the data now insert your legends If you want border background or drop sheet in your legend you can use these customization from over here and next next and next after adjusting uh, the layout you can make a double click on your legend and you can also do customization from where here select all and you can make them bold and okay so now over here i don't want this bloch and glg so make a click and then Again, I click on here and remove this. Okay, after adjusting the map and your legends, uh, we will add grids in our layout. Make a right click on your layout and go to its properties. and go to grids new next next okay 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 now we don't want grids inside our uh, inside our layout so again we will make a right click go to properties and go to the properties of this this grid lines don't show lines and ticks you can also customize your grids and uh, these longitude latitude from over here like i want to make them bold or i can increase their size okay okay just like this so if you want to change the background of uh, or theme of your uh, map you can go to its frame background and you can choose different type of background you can add a drop shadow of your layout just like this Okay, now it's up to you that you want to add a base map in your geological map. If you want to add base map in your geological map, go to File, Add Data, and Add Base Map. And in this case, I will go with the color 
कलर्ड बैकग्राउंड नाउ इट्स क्वाइट गुड एंड नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव योर लेआउट जस्ट गो टू फाइल एंड देन एक्सपोर्ट मैप यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर डेस्टिनेशन एंड सेव ओके हेयर दिस इज द मैप दैट वी रिसेंटली इम्पोर्ट फ्रॉम आर्क मैप बट आई डोंट हैव अ फोटो व्यूअर सो I am facing this issue that pixels are not good. Um, so I recently changed my laptop, so uh, I did not upload any video for a long time. Okay, over here it's look quite good. You can also uh, play with the legends. You can increase their size. You size. You can make them bold. You can create a border around your legends so it's up to you okay friends uh, that's all thanks for watching uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumb up and subscribe for more content stay tuned and connected with me take care allah